On February 27th, Paramount Plus treated viewers to an absolute pile of heartache and devastation with the 10th episode of 1883, This Is Not Your Heaven. Though the episode feels very much like a season finale, if not a series finale, the network has thus far declined to call its officially ordered future episodes a second season. This has led some to speculate that it's not technically a finale of either kind. Whichever way you slice it, the immediate narrative presented to viewers in the series' first 10 episodes came to a gut-wrenching conclusion on Sunday, with a scene that parallels an equally moving moment in season one of its predecessor series, Yellowstone. Despite audiences knowing from the series' very first scene that the formidable Elsa Dutton was destined to be struck by an arrow, her slow demise as a result of her wound in episode 10 still came as a shock. As Elsa slowly dies, her father James pulls her down from her horse, drags her over to a tree, and cradles his daughter in his lap as the two share a final exchange. Whether or not fans felt the scene a fitting end to Elsa's story, it was, as some have noted, a fitting match with Yellowstone's recurring themes. As fans of Yellowstone will recall, the pilot concluded with a similarly heartbreaking moment between John Dutton and his recently deceased eldest son, Lee. After lowering Lee's corpse off his horse, the Dutton patriarch drags his body over to a tree so he can share a final embrace with his son, rest a while, and choose a spot for his burial. A small, loud bird interrupts their time together and serves as a kind of symbolism for the themes of the scene. As one user pointed out on the series subreddit, John and his great-grandfather are both sitting against a tree with their deceased children, both with a bird. Other fans were quick to note the similarity, with one user adding that both scenes involve a character saying they want to rest for a bit. There are some differences, but for the most part, the scenes are almost perfect replications of one another. By ending the first 10 episodes of 1883, a prequel to the events that take place during Yellowstone, on the same exact note upon which the latter essentially begins, the creators of the series have once again foregrounded the cyclical nature of life, death, and the struggle that lies in between. The death of a popular character is usually enough to send fans up in arms, but since Elsa's fate is telegraphed by design, 1883 viewers have had the chance to brace themselves for quite a while. When the inevitable end comes and the viewer notices that the show has no intention of saving the character in some far-fetched fashion, many viewers found that they actually liked the way the show handled her death. One Twitter user wrote, I love how Elsa didn't just pass away and that was it. We were able to see her happy and know that she was okay. Completely unexpected yet amazing writing. Death is so final and leaves you empty. They managed to not leave us me anyway, with that. Another user found the character and her fate both realistic and compelling. Why am I so upset about Elsa in 1883? I think I would mourn her death like she wasn't a fictional character. Another user tweeted a theory that Elsa's death might be the first in a long line of tragedies that Lee's death ties into, and that Yellowstone 1932 will also feature a chilling death in the family. John Dutton in Yellowstone says numerous times that he made a promise to never sell the ranch. I'm sure that when 1932 airs about John Dutton's father and grandfather, we see this promise made from one generation to the next, and it all starts with Elsa Dutton's death in 1883. Says that it's wrong for one man to own all this. He says you should share it with all the people. Yeah. Could it be that the Duttons have paid the price of their ranch in blood? It's a chilling idea, and it will indeed be interesting to see whether the upcoming 1932 addresses it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.